I want to show you what good and bad embroidery tension looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just stitch this word out at the bottom of my um, hoop here. So I'm going to slide that all the way down and have it bump right back into the edge by the move hoop option or jump back to the hoop and then touch go. This will bring the embroidery arm over till it'll tell me I should attach the hoop and then I can go ahead and start to stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, because this machine is set up for proper tension, is I'm going to increase the tension. If I touch Alt, I can get to where the tension box is, and then I'm going to take it up a couple notches here. And you're really going to see it happen, It's uh, what it's going to look like. Since when you sew a letter, or words I should say, Stop is automatically on, so it's going to stitch the L and stop. If we wanted to stitch it all the way through, we could uncheck the stop button and then it will go ahead and stitch all letters without stopping. But because I wanted to, to show you what it's going to look like and then how to go back and fix it once this has happened. So let's say you're stitching along and then you come back and you realize, oh no, things just don't look right. Miss here, it's almost done here. Um, what are we going to do? Again, we, we know we've increased the top tension, so we are pulling bobbin thread way up to the top side. All right, now I'll go ahead and pull this off. Our bobbin thread is still attached, so we'll give that a little trim back here. So here's what we're going to get. We get this kind of rough looking satin stitch at, all the way around and you can just see it. Now this is sometimes hard to see when you're sewing on white fabric and you have white bobbin thread. It's, you can't tell that you're seeing white bobbin thread. It just looks like your top thread's just blah. Now if you flip it over, you see that we have very little pink thread getting pulled to the back side. And really what you want to see is more like this. You want to see a nice column of, of color from the top encasing or going beside it, the bobbin thread down below. So this really shows you should see there's yellow inside here, that type of thing. It really is going to be much smoother when the tension set. So let's say you started this and you don't want to have to take that out because a lot of times it is not fun to take out embroidery. It takes a lot of patience because there's a lot of stitches that went underneath this satin stitch. So what I'm going to do is actually re-stitch the L at the proper tension. So if this had happened without it being increased, you're going to go to Alt, go ahead and touch the tension icon. And notice right here, this is where you can increase it or decrease it. Usually you decrease it to get your bobbin tension or the bobbin thread to stop pulling to the top. So we might need a looser top as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and re-stitch this L. If I touch the um, color blocks and reselect number one, it will move back. And we're going to just restitch it. Trust me, when you restitch something, you do not usually, unless you look close and you know that your um, something was stitched twice, you won't see the extra thickness. Unless you tell somebody, nobody will know. Now it might sound a little thick because it's going through the stitching that was already there, but it already looks 10 times better. So what I'm going to do is just let it stitch out a little bit further. We'll still let it stop when it gets to the L so I can show you what this looks like and how cool it is and then we'll stitch out the rest of the lettering and that way you can see that the L doesn't look much thicker than the rest of the lettering stitched at just a single repeat. See how nice that fixed it? It really did cover up that bobbin thread that was showing before. Let's go ahead and stitch out the rest of the design and we'll compare it and see if you can tell where we stitched it twice. Now that we're done with the L, I'm going to take the stop button off push the start stop button. That way it will stitch the last three letters without any stops in between. Let's see how it looks. Look, you can barely even tell that we stitched that L two times because it looks just as even as the rest of the word. And let's see what it looks like on the back side. As you're seeing, we have the tension pulling to the back side. We have a little bobbin thread showing in between our um, letters here. Now, one thing that you are noticing is sometimes you have all these extra threads. That's the thread cutter cutting between them. And sometimes that kind of looks like it gets messy or they get stitched into each other. If that bothers you and you'll notice it more on lowercase lettering, you can go in here and turn off the thread cutter.